Cody got new stud. Yeah. I think he's cute in the hell. He's a bit shivery, isn't he? He's, he's, he's scared because he's never been up here. He's yeah. out away from his comfort zone. Yeah, he is. Oh, he's a good boy. So he is a Picasso Shasta product. What? What's obviously a merle? Is he? He's on? a lilac and tan merle. Yeah. Uh, wow. Stand up. <laughs> <laughs> he's a lilac. There you go. He loves his toy. He's a lilac and tan merle, really small, um, compact, short. He hates this leash, so it's uh, he doesn't know anything about a leash or a halter. He's got striking eyes, doesn't he? Yeah. He has got the prettiest eyes, his crystal eyes. But he's a lilac and tan merle. The important part about him is he carries cream, and we have been having a hard time making one of those land that had everything that we wanted in the right structure. He is scared to death. He's not going to let us look at him. What's the matter, son? We'll go get it. No, he's so Picasso, his daddy, is a lot of contan, yeah. ATA, carries cream, no pied, no brindles. I mean, 17, 18 pounds? Yeah, yeah. He's a little bitty boy. Throws, throws little bitty babies. And that is one of the nicest dogs that I've seen. I've seen a lot of Picasso puppies, and I think he did the right thing to keep this. Well, dog. Picasso... <laughs> This guy's strong wherever he goes, as far as through his build. He's really good in his hips, and he's still really short back, as, as little as he is. He um, is now, what is he now, nine months, I think? Eight, nine months, I'd have to look. But he's, he's, he's just starting his career, so we're literally just starting his career. Yeah, that's right. But we've he's collecting good, and yes. he's got great motility. Yes. So he is, he's ready to start rolling. And his, his tan points are really a pretty color. Yes. So yes, he's 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 marked up like his daddy. He's got better tan points than his daddy. Yeah. He's got a better head than his daddy. Yeah. He's got a better back end than his daddy. He's got a he's got a bigger bone structure than his dad. Yep. He's really really nice. It's not it's not like huge and it's not light. It's just a good balance for him. Yep. Um, but he's a great size little male. Hey. I mean, he's little bitty. He's on he's on the uh, you know he's he's on the same kind of frame as what we have for Rango and and. Hercules, Hercules the Zynga. The Zynga. Yeah. He's more of that style Sahan of dog. Sahan Balot. Sir, yeah. Yep. He's just a little heavier back end through his back and through his hips than in, his in dad. A good, in a good way. Yep. In a good way. Yes. Look at him the way he walks. Nice and straight. Nice, yeah. straight. Front's nice and straight. He's going to, his head's going to get bigger as the, as the as the months go on, aren't they, Cody? He's going to oh, be. Yeah. No, he's, 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 he's going to be. And, of course, Shasta's out of our foundation line. She's a, she's a nectar of a beast dog. Just a really pretty female. And you can see he's already kind of getting used to being out here. So we'll do some more videos as time goes on so you can get a better idea of his temperament. But he's a happy, happy little dog. He just, right now he's in a place that he just doesn't recognize, isn't he? Yeah. But he's already, he already sweet boy. Yeah. And, and can you get a picture of his, directly of his face? To see those eyes. He's got the most striking eyes. Come here, beautiful. He says, hey, daddy. Mm. So will he throw those to his puppies? I think some of them. Yeah, it seems like with the Picassos that I've had, you get, I don't know, I think probably the Merles, I would say 90% of the Merles that we get out of those litters will have, will have that. Unusual eyes, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. We'll have that little Merle eye. Lazy with his back end. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> What's this going on? <laughs> it's <running. laughs> I'd turn him loose and let him run, but I don't want him to get out there at the horses. Yeah, right, exactly. So he's got a nice flat face. Mm -hmm. Got good, good bite. Got sensible ear set. Not these wacky big ears. No, he's 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 got really nice ears. He's going to develop a big head, bigger chest. I think he's a nice dog. So I'm excited to see what he will do. And so Cody's got a. We're not putting prices here. It's on. Our, it'll be on the website. But he's going to introductory price on this guy. Yep, we'll have an introductory price yep. on him. He just yep. he just started up. We'll have some uh, lock-ins available if a person wanted to lock him in. And go from there, but it just a, it's just a little different option as far as Picasso has been a, a just a really prolific dog for us. Um, this is just a, a thicker version of Picasso, a little heavier boned, and I think a little better better head. So opinion. on a lock in, how's that going to work? What are they it, so what are they going to pay? A certain amount of the stud fee to lock it in? Yes, there'll be a certain amount of the stud fee to lock it in. Yep. Early lock ins will will now have in the past we haven't, but will now early lock ins will now have a a discounted. Um, upfront fee so there'll be an upfront fee to lock him in and then the way we work is half the stud fee is going to be paid before we ship and the other half 
after the pups are born. And we've been like that forever. So you can fund a whole bunch of this on the back end when you go puppy to Absol puppy. Absolutely. So you don't hound people on payments, do you? It's no. like, you know, when people want to pay, that's the point that we say, well, okay, approve the, 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 the uh, cause it's AKC, all of our dogs are AKC. Yes. So the moment you want to get your paperwork, that's when we say, can you pay us the balance, please? And that's the point we then immediately turn around and you get your paperwork in the mail, typically in about a week. So you can do that when puppies are six weeks old and you've got deposits, so you don't have to pay this fee at the front, you could pay it on the back end, or at least half the fee on the back end. Right, Yep. yeah. So if you're interested in this dog, I'd say talk to Cody about it. Yeah. Numbers at the front, on that front part, there's the Cody's number there. Talk to Cody about it and uh, get your lock-in on this boy. And he really is a, he's, he really is a small male. And like I said, he's just a, a better version, I feel, of than Picasso. Picasso's still great. It's just a, another another option. But you can see how big he is through his hips. He's really strong back here across right here. You're not you don't have any of that pinched hip business going on. So we really like the guy. Works nicely. Travels well. He's a good boy. Good boy. I think he did well on this one, Cody. Yeah. What we breed for. Yep, exactly. Well I mean look at it this way too. How many how many puppies have we had from Picasso? Us personally, a uh, lot. Yeah, I've, I've had. And 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 you know, you, we we only keep the very special ones. Yeah, uh, this is a special one. This is a good boy. Yeah. You can see how small he is here. He's just tiny. Yes. It's just gonna get thicker. Yes. Just get better. He's just a growing puppy. Yes. Really laid back personality though. He's not a big, he's not a big yapper or talker. He's just kind of chill. That's the way his mommy is. Yeah. And Picasso too. Yeah, Picasso, Picasso really is, is too. You know, I call him an easy keeper, right? Yep. He's not aggressive, he can be around other dogs, he can be around the cats, he's just uh, not a fuster at all. Yep. Well, there we go, folks. Hey, thanks for watching. Thanks right, for watching the, the video. Uh, I really appreciate people who subscribe to me. It helps me, encourage me to do more of these videos. But do remember, disclaimer here, I am not a vet, I'm not a licensed medical professional, I'm purely a person who's been breeding dogs for the last couple of decades. Any information that you got from this video, use at your own risk. There's nothing implied here, and certainly this should not be used as a substitute for advice from your veterinarian or your medical professional. I hope you enjoyed the video. Come back for more of them. Bye.